If you haven't noticed, it's kind of box battle season here on my channel with all of these high risk, high reward basketball products coming out. And it seems to me like the only real winner lately has been Panini. So I'm going to say it right now. If I get dusted in my box, we're done with these battles for quite a while. Let's get into it today. What is going on YouTube? Happy Friday everybody, RGL in the house coming at you with a brand new video and for the third time in a week it is time for another box battle. That is right. You guys give up or you're thirsty for more? Last Friday we did Mosaic Choice, we did uh, Court Kings earlier, I took the L in that one and today we're doing Crown Royal, the latest release from Panini so if you are excited for today's video go ahead and hit that like button if you're new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button we will be group breaking tomorrow night breaks are now on sale over on rungoodlife.com and yes we will have crown royal we will have court kings we'll have revolution all of this basketball that we are starting to see from panini finally rolling out it's about damn time with this rookie crop that features Cade cunningham evan mobley and others, Josh Giddy, my personal favorite as well. Crown Royal, a fun product, but again, it is a pay-to-play product. And uh, today, I'm going to be playing against my local friend, John. Let's go ahead and put him up there right in the corner. Played by the role of NASCAR driver, Kyle Larson. Gets loose underneath of him, trying to stay off of the 18 and spins out. Costly mistake. And we're both big NASCAR fans. He likes Larson, I like Bush. Y'all know how that goes. Uh, we have a standing bet every Sunday. $100 on our driver if either one wins. Um, and today we have a standing bet to see who is going to win this box battle. And I sure hope it's one of us and it is not Panini um, because we really took it on the chin with Court Kings. Uh, we have Crown Royal today, eight cards, about $500 a box and an elevated market thanks to the Blez. So if you don't know who the Blez is, they like to take their shirt off and scream and yell and that is not my style of content. That is not my style of group break. Ah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, ah. Can't stand those guys. There are a couple who are worse, um, but the Blez is definitely up there on my most disliked breaker list. And the Blez, oh my gosh. Okay, I got to tell a story before we open this. So, it, long intro. I'm, I'm sorry. Just skip ahead two minutes if you don't want to hear a story. So, I've been pretty spot on on my first off the line Dutch auction prices lately, knowing when products will sell out. The last two, Contenders Basketball and Crown Royal Basketball, I've been way off the mark. I've been way under, and I've kind of wondered why. And I figured it out. And it's because Blez has been buying up all of first off the line basketball at ridiculous prices. Um, so about three weeks ago, the only pre-orders for this product online were by two sites: uh, Diamond Sports Cards and Gi or Diamond Cards Online and Giant Sports Cards. Giant had it up for eight hundred. Diamond had it up for nine hundred. Those price points are hilarious. Even worse than the five hundred. Uh, first off the line auction came around. And it floored at $683. I expected it to floor at $500 to $525, uh, which I thought was about $50 off what this product was going to sell out uh, on release day. I thought this was a $400 to $450 product. Um, as it turns out, the first off-the-line auction ending so high was as a result of Blez buying dozens upon dozens of cases. Uh, they're now offering it in group breaks, personals, etc., etc. Whatever, that's how they do business. Um, but they did consume a large amount of the first off-the-line print run, which in tune caused the hobby price to come up to the $500 price point. So that is why we are seeing this product come out so high compared to Court Kings and others. Now, you can hit some very, very sick RPAs. They are silhouettes and silhouettes prime, in my opinion. And I've said this many times in the past. I think that some of those RPAs do look better than the RPAs coming out of National Treasures, uh, football, basketball, etc. Um, I love those. I have a Herbert from 2020, a Justin Herbert, to 49. Looks amazing. Looks better than the NT RPAs from that year. Also, a big selling point in this product is going to be the Kaboom. So, uh, where, yeah, ultra rare Kaboom. So, Kaboom's a staple in the hobby since I think 12, 13, or 13, 14. Uh, one of the most sought after inserts. And uh, again, if you can get it in a PSA 10, 
they sell for a ton. So that is the big appeal of Crown Royal. A lot of cool stuff in here, um, but I do think that it is elevated. I like these boxes at 400 at 500, you're, it's just comical. You're going to have to hit a kaboom or a huge silhouette RPA to make your money back. Uh, either way, let's go ahead and get into this battle. I'm sorry for the long intro. I did have to get that off my chest. Uh, John is going to be on the left. I'm going to be on the right. John's going to go first. Our record is 7, 6, and 1 after John took the dub on Monday with Court Kings. Uh, so I am uncomfortable right now with my one with my one battle lead. And uh, here we go again. John's looking to tie it today. Best card wins. We are just playing for fun. You do only get one pack for your $500 buy-in. Eight cards. Rookie silhouettes and uh, veteran silhouettes as well. Ultra Rare Kaboom. If you want to turn it over on the back, no retail configurations. I like the snow globes that they added last year. Uh, we can hit 101s. Heirs to the Throne coming back as well. Yeah, I just really... I don't, ah, it's tough, because like I say, I never want to root against my buddy, um, but if we see a kaboom in pack one, it's pretty much good game, uh, hard to top a kaboom, so good luck, and uh, let's see what we can find, so again, the design, very similar to last year, um, you are going to get three base cards up front, three or four base cards up front, he's got Jamal Murray, a rookie of Josh Primo, a LaMelo Ball second year. And yeah, four, four base up front, uh, Paul George. So then you're going to have two parallels in the back, an auto and a mem in the center. His first parallel is going to be a Jalen Suggs to 49, 7 to 49. That's going to be a good one for him. Hello, darkness, my old friend. That is definitely going to be a good one. Now, the die cut. Uh, die cut rookies and die cut base cards are going to be tough to gem out. So many edges, so many corners. Um, very, very tough if you ever tried to grade a, if you ever tried to grade a die cut card, you know that it is definitely tough, but Suggs to 49, a good start for him. Best card wins, so he's also got a bronze that is not going to be numbered, that is going to be another rookie though, and that is Santi Aldema for the Grizzlies. Santi Aldema, a bronze rookie for him. Memorabilia for John. Gonna be uh, Christoph Porzingis. I was gonna say Corey Kispert, but Christoph Porzingis. And then the auto. Uh, Sangoon for the Rockets. Uh, 14 of 99. We were looking for the other Rocket, uh, namely Jalen Green. Probably would have been a probably would have been a winner for him. Hard to top a Jalen Green auto, but Sangoon and auto I have pulled plenty of times. The auto actually looks really good uh, to, four, to 99, 14 to 99. This design actually looks really good. Um, for some reason, some reason uh, the auto, I think the auto looks a little bit better than the parallel. The cracked ice is kind of makes it a little busy, but I like this. This is a sharp looking card. I just wish that it would have been Jalen Green for, for my man, John. And then his... Mem is going to be a coat of arms of Kristaps Porzingis. I'm the trash man. I think Kispert would have probably been a little bit better right there. But coat of arms, a good looking, maybe a little busy there. Good looking insert. But I think his best card is probably, I don't know, one of those two. Um, Of the two. Probably give me the auto. I know Suggs is a little bit better in terms of in terms of ceiling, but Sangoon, not bad. An international player. Uh, now starting to get some autos. I did pull a Hoops Inc. auto of him, and it was like worth 100 bucks at the time, but probably has come down in value because he has been featured as an auto in almost all other sets that have come out. All right. Well, I have to beat a Suggs or a Sangoon. Again, no comps because this is a new product, so... Hopefully one of us just blows the other one out of the water and um, it's not close. If it is close, uh, I'll do my best. You guys saw that I, I tried to give myself the win on Monday and it didn't work out so well. Hmm. Really makes you think. Uh, John took the dub on Monday. So here we go. My pack feels very thin. Much thinner than his. So I'm thinking maybe, I don't know. My pack definitely feels thin. 
All right, so take a look. All my cards are there, it looks like. Uh, Christian Wood, Isaiah Todd, Joel Embiid, and a Cade Cunningham. I'll take that. Definitely take a Cade Cunningham. Let's go. Uh, base rookie versus his Sug so far. I still like him. I still think he's in the lead. I think I have a... Pivotal players, that's not what I expected. 8 of 49, Devin Booker. I remember a couple years back, and I don't know if they had him last year, but there was um, cards where the rookies were sitting on a throne, so I thought that that was what that was going to be, an heirs to the throne, maybe. Was not what I was expecting. Devin Booker to 49 on the pivotal players. And then I should have another... I should have a bronze back here. I'm trying not to spoil my auto... Uh, Ben Simmons, that's not, that's not going to get it John, done. Ben Simmons on the bronze. Yeah, that's not going to get it done. All right, well, I think he's in the lead so far. My mem. That is going to be John Collins on the, uh, what was that? The crown, what was that called? The Christops. It's the same thing as the Christops. Can't coat of arms maybe i i don't know uh so my best card right now is a Cade rookie and that is not gonna get it done for me so i'm down to one card left today one card left to get it done and here it is am i gonna win the battle or am i gonna take the l today oh boy uh dennis rodman to 99 for the second straight battle i pulled a chicago bulls legend i pulled the tony kukoc on yeah, I pulled the Ku Coach on Monday, and that was uh, from not from Court Kings. It was from uh, just a non-branded Panini set. And now I'm coming back with a Dennis Rodman auto to 99. Uh, and then my mem was the John Collins coat of arms. This one's tough because there's no comps. This one's very tough today. Um, Yeah, it's pretty much going to come down to my Dennis Rodman versus his... Sangoon or Jalen Suggs uh, to 49. Yeah, and it's best card wins, so it's one of those two. It's not two. Um, yeah, I don't know. This one's tough because I want to say Rodman's auto probably more valuable than Sangoon. Rodman does sign a lot for Panini, though. Uh, I guess it comes down to what the price of this Suggs is. So I'm going to go ahead. Dude, this one's tough. This one's tough. Even if you go second card. I have a Cade rookie. Yeah, this is tough um, because I do think this card is more valuable than this card. This card, obviously, more valuable. I'm going to have to say that this this is a draw. I think Panini won again. Um, no, no shocker there, of course. I think Panini won again today. And I know in the intro I said no more box battles, but I'm a liar. I'm a liar uh, because there's definitely going to be more box battles. The next time something comes around... That is worth uh, that is worth doing in a, in a box battle style. We will definitely do it that style. But today, I think I have to declare a draw. So I think I'm going to hold on to the lead in the series. I think we're going to move this one to seven wins on my side. Six wins for John and two draws because no comps as of right now. Maybe in a week, I'll come back and make a make a executive decision. But I think right now, I have to say that these two boxes were pretty even value. I, I like the Rodman auto. I like hitting a Cade. I'm sure he'll be okay with a Suggs to 49, especially if that one tens. And like I said, it is tough to gem out a die cut card. So uh, that is going to do it for me. Kind of a inconclusive, uh, not 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 the best finish, right? You always want a winner. And this is just kind of a shake hands, good game. Nobody really won this one. That's going to do it for me. We will be breaking some Crown Royal this weekend. Go ahead and grab a spot over on rungoodlife.com. And I will catch you in the live stream tomorrow. Until then, take care, stay safe, and we'll catch you next time on Down the Road.